find the curvature of the curve given by the vectored valued function r of t at t equals pi divided by four. In this example, we'll determine the curvature using both of the formulas shown below, just to verify we get the same result. Remember, the curvature at a point measures how sharply the curve bends or how quickly it changes direction. So the more sharply a curve bends, or the more quickly it changes direction, the larger the value of the curvature. The curvature of a line equals zero, and the curvature of a circle is equal to one divided by the radius of the circle. Sometimes we're also asked to determine the radius of the curvature of circle, which equals the reciprocal of the curvature, or one divided by the curvature. So going back to our example, let's first determine the curvature using the formula the curvature equals the magnitude of t prime of t divided by the magnitude of r prime of t. Before we can determine t prime of t, we need to determine the unit tangent vector function t of t, which equals r prime of t divided by the magnitude of r prime of t. To determine r prime of t, we differentiate each component of r of t with respect to t. This indicates that r prime of t equals the vector valued function in which the x component is the derivative of negative one minus two cosine t, which is two sine t. The y component is a derivative of two, which is zero, and the z component is a derivative of negative two plus two sine t, which is two cosine t. Next, we'll determine the magnitude of r prime of t, which equals the square root of the sum of the square of two sine t, the square of zero, and the square of two cosine t. Simplifying under the square root, we have four sine squared t plus four cosine squared t. Factoring out the four, notice sine squared t plus cosine squared t equals one, giving us a square root of four, which is equal to two. While we're here, notice the denominator of the formula calls for the magnitude of r prime of t, or in our case, the magnitude of r prime of pi divided by four, which because the magnitude of r prime of t equals the constant two, this is also the magnitude of r prime of pi divided by four. And we can also now find t of t, the unit tangent vector function. We take each component of r prime of t and divide by the magnitude of r prime of t. Simplifying t of t is equal to the vector function sine t comma zero comma cosine t. Now we can determine t prime of t by differentiating each component of t of t. t prime of t is equal to the vector function in which the x component is a derivative of sine t, which is cosine t, the y component is a derivative of zero, which is zero, and the z component is a derivative of cosine t, which is negative sine t. And now we can determine t prime of pi divided by four by subbing in pi divided by four for t. Remember cosine pi divided by four and sine pi divided by four both equal square root two divided by two. t prime of pi divided by four is a vector square root two divided by two comma zero comma negative square root two divided by two. And now we determine the magnitude, which equals the square root of the sum of the square of square root two divided by two, the square of zero, and the square of negative square root two divided by two. Simplifying under the square root, we have two fourths plus zero plus two fourths, which gives us a square root of one, which equals one. And now we have all the information we need to apply the curvature formula. The magnitude of t prime divided by four equals one, the magnitude of r prime of pi divided by four equals two, giving a curvature of one half, which also indicates the radius of the circle of curvature is two divided by one, or two. And now let's go through the process again to verify we get the same results using the second formula. Notice in the numerator we need to find the cross product of r prime of t and r double prime of t. We already found r prime of t on the previous slide, and now let's determine r double prime of t by differentiating each component of r prime of t. r double prime of t equals a vector function with an x component of two cosine t, a y component of zero, and a z component of negative two sine t. And now let's determine the vectors at t equals pi divided by four. Simplifying, r prime of pi divided by four is the vector square root two comma zero comma square root two. And now let's determine the vector r double prime of pi divided by four. Simplifying, r double prime of pi divided by four is the vector square root two comma zero comma negative square root two. And now to determine the cross product of these two vectors, we'll use the three by three determinant where the first row of the unit vectors i, j, and k, the second row of the components of r prime of pi divided by four, the third row of the components of r double prime of pi divided by four. Expanding the three by three determinant, 
we now evaluate the two by two determinants. For the first two by two determinant, we have zero minus zero times the unit vector i, and then we have minus negative two minus two times the unit vector j. This gives us minus negative four or plus four times the unit vector j, and then plus zero minus zero times the unit vector k. The cross product is the vector zero comma four comma zero. And now we determine the magnitude of this vector, which is equal to four. And then for the denominator, we need to determine the cube of the magnitude of r prime of pi divided by four. We already found r prime of pi divided by four up here at the top. It's the vector square root two comma zero comma square root two. So cubing the magnitude of the vector, we get the cube of the square root of the sum of the square of square root two, the square of zero, and the square of square root two which simplifies to two cubed, which equals eight. And now we have the information we need. The curvature is equal to four divided by eight, which again simplifies to one half, giving us the same curvature, which also indicates the radius of the circle of curvature is equal to two. Before we go, let's take a look at this graphically. You may or may not have noticed that r of t is the graph of a circle in the plane y equals two, which is graphed here in red. I also included the trace vector, which is the blue vector, at t equals pi divided by four. So because the curve is a circle, the circle itself is a circle of curvature, and if we angle this right, we can see that the radius of the circle is two, which is why the curvature is the reciprocal of two, or one half. So here we can see that that is a circle looking down on the x, z plane, and we can see here the radius is two, which is why the curvature is one half. I hope you found this helpful.